What up? We're here in my second uh, music room. This is a room that I keep all of my gear in, all my spare amps, because I have multiple heads and cabs. This is where I keep most of my guitars. And uh, I've been having a lot of questions, a lot of comments from people asking about the guitars that I use. And there's a lot of guitars that I, that I personally own. And some of them I haven't shown off yet, so I thought I'd do a little series of videos and I would just show you video by video um, all my guitars. Because there's a bunch that you have seen. If you've seen the videos, you've seen some of the guitars that I use. And there's a bunch that are still in the closets that I haven't pulled out in years. So I'll probably pull those out and show them off for you. But um, depending on the video and the song that I'm doing, I may use a very specific guitar. And I thought I'd do this video to just show off my Jackson Demolition Vs. I have three of them. You guys have seen two. There's one I haven't done a video with. And uh, I made down the road. I haven't really decided. But I thought I'd show you off my Vs. So let's start with the very first one that I ever bought. The red with black bevels. Now I bought this guitar last summer. Late last summer. This is a performance series. So it's a step down from the Pro Series. Pro Series would be like the highest model next to the USA models. Um, this one actually plays pretty, pretty well. It's got the um, alder body, it's a three piece body, set neck, so it's all one piece. It's got the maple, uh, maple neck, rosewood fretboard, 24 frets with the shark fin inlays. It's got the 12 to 16 inch compound radius fretboard. It's a quarter sawn neck. It's got the graphite uh, reinforcement in it also. It's got EMG, I think they're like HZs. They're, I guess, the equivalent to the passive version of the 8160. I really don't like these pickups very much. They don't have the punch and the clarity that I like my tone to have, but they do for right now, and I'm probably going to end up swapping them out for some 81 and 60s. Um, they just don't have the, the tone that complements my 6505. But for right now, it does the purpose and it gets the job done. It's got the Floyd Rose Tremolo. This is not a, um, the highest model of the Floyd Rose that they make. I actually have the higher end model on my other demo, which I will show off in a minute. Uh, it's got a three-way toggle switch, two volume knobs, there's no tones. Each volume knob con controls one pickup. So your lower volume knob controls this one and your higher knob controls this one. It's got the double cutaway, which is really cool. I love this design. I love the way these guitars play. I love the way they feel. It's super easy to get around on, and it just, it's perfect for me. I love Flying Bees, and this was the absolute best guitar to buy um, V-wise. And for a long time, I was only an ESP guy. I only played ESPs, wouldn't play anything else. But Jackson really hit the mark with these guitars, and for that, I bought three of these because they just play so well, and they sound so fucking killer. Phil Demmel did a great job coming up with the design for this guitar. Everything complements perfectly, and it's great. I love it. I have nothing bad to say about these guitars. The one drawback, though, to these guitars, I guess you could say I have one little, one little comp, uh, thing that bothers me. The input jack. The input jack is in such a weird place, and you guys can't really see it, but it's underneath this little cutaway. And so they have a hole here that's dr drilled out for the screw, but it's such a pain in the ass to get to. And when you have to do the work on the input jack like I actually have had to do, it's a pain in the ass. It really kind of sucks. But I take it to my luthier guy, he gets it done, no problem, we move on. So this is a great guitar. This one's actually tuned to C-sharp standard. This is what I play a lot of my C-sharp standard. Uh, like I did some Chevelle with it, some Testament. I've done some a lot of machine head videos with this. A lot more coming. But I gotta have some work done on it because the input jack farted out on me. All right, the second one I bought, which you guys haven't seen this one, is the black with silver bevels. Same thing as the other one. It's a performance series, lower end model. This one actually is in standard tuning. I haven't done any work on it yet. Um, I'm going to have to have a little bit of work done in the input jack because it's really loose and needs to be tightened up. I'm thinking about having to retune. I'm going to have it reset. I'm not really sure to what. Um, I'm thinking maybe D because I don't have a guitar set in D, so I'm thinking maybe D standard, one step down. This one actually uh, feels a little bit better than my Red with Black Bevels. It's really loose, low action, really spongy on the strings. I love it. I love the way this one feels, and it sounds really good too. 
even though it's got the same pickups, just because it's in a higher tuning, I think that it sounds better. It's a little more clear. Same, uh, same description as the other ones. All the, you know, uh, it's basically the, it's the exact same guitar as what I'm trying to get to. There's nothing different between this one and the red and black one other than it's got the black with silver bevels. Being that this is a lower end model, the one thing about this guitar that really caught me off guard was that the paint job on the bevels wasn't super straight. It was really wonky, kind of out of, out of um, it just wasn't very well done. But that's okay, I don't really care. Um, I don't expect it to be perfect, but for what I paid for this guitar, because I got it on clearance, I'm not gonna complain about it. It's cool, I'm gonna have it reset, get some work done on it, and I'm gonna do some videos with this one in the near future. Now my very last one, which is my favorite one of all. This is my favorite guitar. Out of all the guitars I own, this is my favorite one. My white with black bevels. This one's a little bit different than the other two. This is a Pro Series guitar, so this is a higher end model. Still got the Alder Body three piece with the maple quarter sawn neck with the ebony fretboard, not rosewood, ebony, which is the first guitar I ever bought that had ebony fretboard. 24 frets. 12 to 16 inch compound radius with the graphite reinforcement, shark fin inlays. Now, this one's got the EMG 81 and 60 uh, combo in it, which is also known as the Headfield set, because they sell that as a, a actual set. It's got the Floyd Rose FR, I think it's a 200, double locking two point tremolo, two volume knobs, no tone, three way toggle switch. What I like about this guitar is that it has the active pickups. It's got the nine volt compartment right there. Set neck, all one piece. This guitar plays so, so good, and I love it. From the moment I got it back from my luthier, because when I got it, it came tuned down to drop B tuning, which is a step and a half down with the drop uh, low string. And it came with 58 gauge low strings, and it was like, I couldn't even find anybody that sold 58 gauges. So I don't know why Jackson did it that way, but that's what they put on it. So I had it reset, I had to put uh, 10 gauge strings on it, because that's what I play. And when I got it back, the tone was unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. And the feel on this guitar is so different than anything I've ever owned. As far as quality goes, this is the best Jackson that I've ever played, and it's the best guitar I own. And I own a lot of different guitars, and this is by far the best one. The weight is perfect, the feel is super easy, it's spun, like super slow, um, super low, spongy feel on the strings, which is what I like. I like a low action not super high to where it chews up your fingertips, and this is perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. The paint is flawless. There is nothing wrong about this guitar. Um, the input jack on this one actually is, is great. It's perfect. <laughs> There's no problems with it whatsoever. And I took it to my luthier. He reset it, put the tens on it. I got it back, started jamming on it, and instantly fell in love. And this is tuned to drop B, so it's down a, half, a step and a half with the low string tuned down one more step and I love it. I got nothing bad I can say about this guitar except that I wish they still made it. There's a couple mo uh, couple models out there that they're trying to sell now. It's like discontinued because they're doing away with the demolition and I'd love to get my hands on another one. Possibly the Black Tide. I'd like to have the Black Tide fade but if I can't get one then that's cool. I've got three. Love them. Jackson did a great job on these Pro Series guitars and um, like I said, they're killer. Um, if you ever get the chance to play one with the ebony fretboard, do it. Because I guarantee you, you'll fall in love. The ebony fretboard compared to the rosewood, it's got such a different feel. I love it. There's nothing I can say bad about these guitars. Phil Demmel did a great job. So that's my demolitions. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will show you off some uh, other guitars in the next video. Sounds good? You guys let me know if you like these videos. If you want to see more of these, shoot me a comment, send a like, whatever, and uh, subscribe to the page. There you go. We'll see you in a little bit.